Thanks for watching. And what is the plastic ratio and why is it so cool? Watch this video and find out. And by the way, I came up with this before Mathologer. I have proof. Okay, and what it is, it's just a generalization of the golden ratio, which is the positive root of phi squared equals phi plus one. For the plastic ratio, you replace the two by a three. So it's just a positive root of rho cubed equals rho plus one. And in fact, they do have similar properties, which I want to talk about now. Because if you start with this equation and multiply it by rho to the n minus 3 on all sides, then what you get is rho to the n equals rho to the n minus 2 plus rho to the n minus 3 which should be compared to the Fibonacci sequence that tells you that Fn equals Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2. And if you know me well, you know that the Fibonacci sequence, I love it, because it counts bunnies. So kind of the uh, number of bunnies now is the number of bunnies the previous month plus the number of bunnies produced earlier it's the same thing here, except you have a shift by um, one month. So I think if like bunnies, they take a time out producing more, that, that might happen. Second of all, for the golden ratio, remember you have this beautiful identity that phi, it's square root of one plus a square root of one plus square root of one, etc which can be easily seen because it's kind of a fractal thing going on because if you let phi to be square root of 1, etc., this little part is the same thing as phi. So therefore, what you get is phi equals square root of 1 plus phi, and so phi squared equals 1 plus phi, or phi plus 1. And it should come to no surprise that for the plastic ratio you have the same thing, except you replace square roots by cube roots. So f rho is cube root of 1 plus cube root of 1 plus cube root of 1, etc. Because if you let this cube root to be rho, then in fact you get rho cubed or rho is cube root of 1 plus rho. So rho cubed equals 1 plus rho. How cool is that? And finally, I would like to mention there is an explicit formula of the plastic ratio in terms of trig. And yes, I did save the best for last because he's my favorite property of the plastic ratio. Because it turns out you can write this explicitly in terms of hyperbolic trig functions. And how do you do that? Well, think inverse trig substitution. So define an angle theta implicitly via rho equals 2 over square root of 3 cosh of theta. So again, this defines theta in terms of rho implicitly. And then if you plug this into the first equation, what you get is rho cubed, which is 8 over 3 square root of 3, cosh cubed of theta minus rho, so minus 2 over square root of 3, cosh of theta minus 1 equals 0, so that equals to 1. And now we need to use an identity that I derive in another video. Namely, it turns out cosh cubed, or more explicitly, 4 cosh cubed, is the same thing as 3 cosh plus cosh of 3 theta. And which is quite nice because notice cosh cubed appears in this expression. 8 cosh cubed is the same thing as 2 times 4 cosh cubed. 
And therefore, the formula now simplifies to the following. So 2 times 3, so 6 cosh of, of theta plus 2 times cosh of 3 theta, and again, divided by this square root. So 3 square root of 3 okay. minus 2 over square root of 3 cosh of theta equals 1. And the cool thing is there is now a simplification that allows us to solve for theta. So then what we get is 2 over square root of 3 cosh of theta plus 2 over 3 square root of 3 cosh of 3 theta minus 2 over square root of 3 cosh of theta equals 1. And notice now the evil cosh terms, they cancel out. And in the end, what we can do, we can now solve for cosh of 3 theta. So cosh of 3 theta equals 3 square root of 3 over 2. And now we can solve for theta. So we want to undo cosh. So we'll use arc cosh. And when in life do you use arc cosh, right? Only in math, really. So arc cosh of 3 square root of 3 over 2, which now tells you that theta is 1 third arc cosh of 3 square root of 3 over 2. But that's not what we want to solve for. We don't want to solve for theta. We want to solve for rho. But remember, we do have this formula for rho. Because what we have was rho is, I think, 3. No, 2 over square root of 3. Cosh of theta. But now remember, we have our theta. So in the end, we now have our explicit formula for rho, it's 2 over square root of 3 cosh of 1 third arc cosh of 3 square root of 3 over 2. Again, I can't, I can't believe how ridiculous this formula is, but it's really, really beautiful. And again, hopefully it makes you excited about the plastic ratio. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.